Hi guys, Di here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome all those that are new and all those that are not so new. I didn't say old. So, I have done something that I don't usually do and that is put a journal away that I haven't finished. Um, it's not something that I tend to do. I'm a stickler for finishing what I started, but I had a trouble had trouble with my printer and the trouble was that uh, the maintenance box was full and it was playing havoc with my prints printing them dark printing lines all the stuff did all the cleaning didn't work anyway sent away for a new box it hasn't arrived yet um, so in the meantime I started a new fill-in journal so I'd had something on the go and didn't lose my mojo and people who like to follow along had something to follow along with but then I got some happy mail the other day from Bernadette White thank you Bernadette and she sent me um, part of the kit um, all printed out um, ready to go and it's like oh, so excited I was so excited thank you so much so um, I tore it out with a ruler so this is how they print out if you uncheck the fit to page um, when you check the fit to page um, on your computer it prints it out with a border but a4 but you lose some of the um, image uh, as you can see I've got lines through this was mine this one was mine um, but I wanted to show you how they print out so they print out in this square form which are um, eight and three quarters by eight Is that right Just under eight. No, these ones are under eight. So these are seven and seven and seven eighths. Seven and seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So mine prints differently to Bernie's, and they all print differently. But anyway, we get the square. Um, so I've, printed, I've cut them out, I've torn them out with a ruler so I've got a rough edge and I will be inking around all of them with um, a Ranger Archival Cornflower Blue so to give you that um, blue edge like that um, so I'll, I won't do that on camera and bore you to death so um, I'll do that off camera but I will be inking around the edge of all of these. Some of these I will use, I'm going to use as um, tags. So I will um, cut some tags out. I don't have any cut at the moment, but I will cut them out. So say this is a tag, I will cover the tag with the image and cut it out. Um, do some envelopes as well, pockets. Um, I the ones that I misprinted like all these ones that went through and were horrible um, with the lines through them I fussy cut the flowers out um, so I've fussy cut some flowers I've cut some images out I haven't finished doing that one yet but um, it won't go to waste I won't throw it out I'll use it to cover tags and do some clusters and um, that sort of thing they'll cover a page um, so I haven't finished doing that but that's the start of it so these will make nice like corners on pages and on a blank page very pretty so that's what I've done with the stuff that I mucked up or my printer mucked up so the album is going to be square. I don't make very many square albums, so I thought that would be a challenge to do. 
Um, one of these Santas is going to be my cover. I'm not sure which one because they're all the images are all just so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> I don't know which one. Maybe this one. Um, and we will. Um, it's going to be very highly embellished. There will be lots of um, liquid pearls. There will be lots of stickles. There will be lots of bling on here. There will be glossy accents. Uh, this is the Dusty Attic version, which is an Australian product. Um, that's crackle accents. That's not what I want. Um, yeah, so there will be lots and lots of that happening. Um, all of the back of my pages I am leaving white um, and I will stamp stamp around or put some you know some of these cut aparts that I've fussy cut on the thing um, inked the edges and they will be the writing space in this journal so they won't be the back of this because these will be glued to cardboard white cardstock like this like this so I'm going to make as I said a square album front back cover with a mm, probably uh, an inch and a half spine maybe two inch spine haven't worked that one out yet working as we go and I will it's going to be a hybrid journal like the one the blue boho journal so I will have signatures in it but I'll also have um, solid pages so this spine will have a hinge system on it with four um, pages like I told, showed you how to do last time the tube sits over the hinge gives you front and back and you can use the the uh, middle to put a big journaling card in that's what I'm going to make again so it'll have four main pages so the hinge there will be four hinges um, four main pages and on top of all of those pages we will have flips and pockets and waterfalls and all sorts of fun stuff um, every single one of these pages which again I will only do probably one with you on um, camera the rest will be done off camera um, every single one of the pages will be hand painted hand decorated with the stickles and silver paint um, silver stenciling all that sort of stuff we'll go through and we'll do one complete page just to show you how I do it um, you don't have to do that this is how I'm going to make this journey so you can play along or you can just take bits and pieces as we go it will be a full um, a full tutorial on on how I put it together how I make the binding system um, how I do the signatures how I sew the signatures in because I sew the signatures in a little bit different to most people um, it's a very very simple three hole pamphlet stitch just done a little bit differently but I'll show you that when we get to it um, the signature pages will be um, we will have to make them from copy paper to give you that folded edge and, and then we'll glue these to them so we've still got um, pages but they will be square but because they are um, 8 by 8 which is a 16 inch page well that you know our pages don't come we'll be gluing two together um, with a fabric maybe a tape or a paper hinge um, reinforcement so that we get that um, 16 inch piece of paper which folded in half will give us our eight which these will fit on beautifully 
again I'll show you just explaining what we're going to do so you can gather your things together so you want some good quality um, A4 pages um, yeah just normal copy paper will probably probably be okay um, again those pages are going to be uh, have a torn edge and an inked edge everything in this is going to be highly inked and highly decorated um, so get yourself some cardstock to make the cover you want to print out and untick that fit to page if you want to make it along the same as me untick the fit to page so you get this square image um, print out extra so you can fussy cut like I have if you haven't already mucked up like I have <laughs> um, so you can fussy cut flowers so double print things if you want to that have got good flowers to cut out um, what else what else what else um, the cardstock again I will be making tags I'll be making the cover from it um, on the cover I am going to glue some um, fun foam some white white fun foam this is a cover for another album that I'm doing so on the cover I will um, I'll be covering it in fun foam I have a big roll of it that's like huge and that's what I'll be covering I think I think maybe fun foam maybe maybe this is gonna fit on there no that, that's not gonna fit on there that's okay we will find something else maybe some glitter cardstock um, that I can frame underneath here anyway white cardstock white um, copy paper your kit with extras to fussy cut um, some sort of ink if you're going to ink the edges um, so I'm going to use the cornflower blue uh, another co color is this blue haze um, Kaiser craft ink very similar color and if you want to go a little bit more grungy um, the archival watering can is a really dark uh, blue grey so I have all of those sitting there um, that's it let's get to making this cover so what was it again this was um, seven and three quarters so I want the I want a half an inch half an inch half an inch half an inch border so we want our paper to be half an inch there half an inch there eight and three quarters let's go eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters eight and three quarters we might do that as a spine and we we'll do a let's do a two inch two inch spine Alrighty, 
so there's our front cover, back cover and our spine. Just put that aside for a minute while we've got the trimmer out. What are these? These are three and a quarter. Keep those. We'll use them for closures. So let's make some. Oh, get over there. Let's make some tags. So they're three inches. Three inches by. Let's go five. Yep, three by five. Keep these some good backing for. Um, paper clips and clusters. So these will be cut into um, tags, we'll just do the corners and we'll cover it with the um, misprinted paper and decorate those. Um, we will also do some journaling cards and some pockets. So let's get another couple of sheets. And our journaling cards will be six by four, I think. Six by four or three and a half. Six by three and a half. That's a pretty good size. Okay, so there's some journaling cards, some tags, and we want some pockets. So the page is going to be seven, and what are they going to be? So it's eight, seven three quarters. So our pages are going to be seven and seven eighths probably. So we've just got a border around that page that we printed out. So seven and seven eighths. Let's go seven and three quarters. And by. half. 
So just lay the corner on your cutting line and that corner and that should give you a couple of pockets. So whichever way you want to do those. So there's a couple of big pockets and we might do, I guess this, this is eight and three quarters so four and three eighths so Roughly, doesn't have to be the same, and we will um, cut a notch in there for the horizontal pocket. So that's good to start with. Ink around all of those before we cover them. Um, so our journaling cards, we will. how I do one of these Think both sides one side will be writing space and the other side will be our image so to start off with An image. Where's my pencil? So this is where I want it to go. Border. Okay, so this is how I do it. As you can see there's still lines through this so we're going to cover those up with other decorations later on but that will be our um, journaling card. Dig it down and a little bit of a border all the way around. Voila, that will be. Let's 
So, I have This is um, opal dust with the glitter. It's just a medium, a liquid medium with um, opal glitter paste. So, got to give it a good shake. Just painting this on the whole thing. Just gives enough to cover up most of those little lines that are in the paper from the printer. Gives you a nice glitter, glitter effect. And we just let that dry. I'll have things drying all over the place today. So I'll do that with some of them. You could also um, use um, stickles. You can paint stickles on. You can add glitter to matte medium, gloss medium. Um, any uh, liquid type medium, Mod Podge, anything like that. Uh, I don't recommend Mod Podge in a humid climate at all. Um, so you can just add glitter to that in a mixing bowl and paint that on to get the same effect. You don't have to have the opal dust paint. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'll do that with all the journaling cards. Um, they won't all have that that on them. When they're all dry, we'll come back and we'll add some other elements to it. Um, tags, we will um, use a template, but I'm not sure. Not that one. So. Anyway, I'll find the, I've got a card with the corners cut off, so that's that, flip it over, go to the other edge, cut that side off, I'll keep that one up there so you can do the rest of your tags, so they all have the same um, angle. You can have whatever angle you like. Again, both sides, backs will be for writing space, fronts for decoration. a scene. Let's do a scene. So I'll just do a rough outline around here. 
and cut it inside the line. a little bit more off there So this is a um, Pentel liquid adhesive, a roll and glue. Uh, so it's wet glue with a roller in the top, which is, I find, so much better than a glue stick. It's actually permanent glue. Um, but you do you. That's really crooked now. Guess what? We can fix it with some lace. Let's grab some lace. Let's bring that up and just cut it with some big scissors. Stop cutting, just gonna wreck it in a minute. Piece of this lace first. piece of this lace over the top I'm 
Beautiful. Bit of lace. Let's put a hole in this. Let's put a eyelet. Put a white eyelet in there. Disappeared off the face of the earth, it has. So, let's just grab a piece of this cotton. Piece of this cotton. bead or two so let's go Two little blue seed beads and a little white milky faceted. Are you going to fit on there? Mm. Doesn't want to fit on there. Okay, we'll have to think, rethink those beads. White seed bead. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. That doesn't want to fit either. Okay. There you go. That'll do. I'll find a I'll find a dangle to put on that. Okay, something for the back. Yeah, I have these. 
Christmas words. Do I have them on? White. Not really. I don't want to do the vintage thing because I've already got a vintage thing happening. That one will do. Where's my little blue? That's what the back will look like, that's what the front will look like, except we're going to put in some snow. Snow, snow, snow. So this is called um, Icicle. Let's get... Give it a shake. white gel pen this is not working let's try this gel pen that's silver not white Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. Pencils. That's pencils. Wrong side. Every other colour except white, of course. So,
Beautiful. So we've just done all the snow with uh, the Kindy Glitz um, Crystallina. Let that dry. When they're dry I'll put them under some um, heavy books to flatten out. Alrighty, so that's a journal card and a tag. Um, just need to tidy up here a bit. So I've got the room. Alrighty. 